earliest. I hope you've all had a good week and have enjoyed our activity so far. So we're going to carry on talking about staying fit, staying healthy, getting a good night's sleep. And a really good way to stay healthy is to do something very, very often. So doing it a lot. So one thing to do, and we know we do this a lot, especially after we've gone to the toilet, we wash our hands. Now, why do you think we need to wash our hands regularly? So doing it a lot. We need to do it because what might live on our hands? Germs, we might have germs on our hands. We might have picked up germs if we've touched the floor. We may have picked up germs from touching something that somebody else has been using. And if those germs then get into our mouths, that goes then to our tummies and it might make us poorly. So what we're going to do, I'll go through a challenge, is we are going to help people um, and tell them about how to wash our hands properly. So today we're going to do some instruction writing. Does anybody know what instruction means? What's an instruction? Have a chat with your adult. It's a bit like just telling someone what to do. So where might you find instructions? Have a think, where might you find or where might you see instructions? You might find them in, in a cookbook. In a cookbook, we need an instruction to tell us what to do, don't we? Because if we didn't, we wouldn't know how to bake anything or, or how to cook something. So most of the time, well, all of the time, sorry, a cookbook has instructions in there. So let's have a look. Let's show you some instructions. So here is some instructions, for the cookbook. Where else might we find instructions? If we need to build something, so you might need to build something and then you need to find the instructions and look at the different steps which tell us what to do. You might find instructions in a game. So it tells you how to play the game because if you just got a box of pieces, you, wouldn't, you might not know what to do with them. So instructions are a really good way of helping tell people what they need to do. So now I need your help to write some instructions on how to wash our hands properly. Now, washing our hands at the minute is very important, isn't it? Very, very important. Washing our hands and making sure our hands are sanitised with sanitizer because it kills all of those yucky germs that might make us poorly. OK, so we're going to have to think about what we do when we wash our hands. What do we do first? We... Turn the tap on, don't we? Because we need that water coming out. Do we tend to put soap on our hands dry? I tend to. We put it in water, don't we? Get our hands nice and wet. Get some soap. And then, do we just wash our hands like this? No, we need to do our palms of our hands. We need to do the backs of our hands. We need to do in between our fingers, don't we? So we get all different parts of our hand all over, making sure it's all covered in soap, all nice and clean. And does anybody know how long we should wash our hands for? It's at least 20 seconds. So it's a nice, a, a nice way of practicing our counting, isn't it? So should we do that together, ready? We could pretend to wash our hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then what do we need to do when our hands are all nice and soapy and clean? Am I just gonna walk away with really, really soapy hands? Now I'm gonna put them back in the water and say, rinse it all off, rinse off all of that soap, and then I will go and dry my hands. And the important part with our instructions now are to make sure that we get it in the right order. Because if we don't get it in the right order, I might end up drying my hands before I even put them in the water. Or maybe put them in the water, then dried them, and then gonna put soap on them. But that wouldn't be right, would it? Would that work? No. So we're gonna have a think about um, what we need to do and um, what order we do it. What comes first, what comes second, and then third, then fourth. So a bit like here, you can see, it says the number one and the number two and the number three. 
So it tells you in what order to do it in. So let's have a think. So we're gonna have a go do some instruction writing. Now this is up to you how you would like to do it. If you would like to write it, if you would like to write it and draw some pictures, whether you want to do it by drawing, just drawing pictures, and maybe you can do a demonstration video. So that means you show us how to wash our hands properly. That would be really nice. But let's have a think how we could write it. Well, what's that first step, that first instruction, the number one instruction um, when coming to wash our hands? We need the water on, don't we? So we could have turn on the tap. Turn on the tap turn on the tap. Again, I like to say it a bit like when I do my sentences, I quite like to say it out loud and count how many words I'm going to have to write just so I'm sure. And it's my first instruction, so I'm going to write the number one. I'm going to do the number one. See that? Number one. I'm going to turn on the tap. Turn, oh, got my capital there. Turn on the tap. Now there are lots of words in that we could have a go at spelling on our own, couldn't we? Go on. Turn on, we can do that. On, on the, we've got a tricky word. We've been practicing those really, really well. And tap, tap. Uh, Turn on the tap. So the person knows the first thing they need to do is turn on the tap. Okay, what do we need to do next? Get our hands wet, don't we? So what number am I going to do next? I've got my first instruction, my number one instruction, number two, and that's the second, two. The second instruction. Oh, I need to get my hands wet. So. We can make this quite short and easy, can't we? Get hands wet. Get hands wet. G -et, g -et. Get hands wet. wet. Get hands wet. Now, I haven't got lines here, but do you know, it's a really good idea if we do maybe use lines, just because when we're practicing our writing at the minute, while we're still getting to, used to doing it, it's always easier to have a go at writing it on a line. So what number instruction would I have next? So my first instruction, turn on the tap, get hands wet. What do we need to do then? We need soap, don't we? Get some soap. Get some soap. And what number instruction was this? Number three. So we'll do the number three. I need to get some Oh, get some soap. Okay, lovely. So I've turned on the tap. I've got my hands wet. I've got some soap. What do I now need to do with the soap? Rub it in my hands, don't I? So rub it in. Oh, for how long? Do you remember how long we need to do it for? How long do we need to do it for? at least 20 seconds, don't we? So we can say, rub it in for 20 seconds. Rub it in for 20 seconds. Lovely, so I know my next instruction. Well, what number instruction is this? I've done number one, my first. Number two, the second instruction. Number three, the third instruction. Number four is the fourth instruction. Number four. So rub it in for 20 seconds. So rub it 
et, et, n, f, o, four. Oh, 20. How do I write the number 20? Two and a zero. And then it's going to run a little bit longer. Seconds, e, k, o, n. Oh, have I got enough room? No, let's rub that out then. I give myself a little line here. Rub it in for 20 seconds. Lovely. And then I need to, what do I do when I've rubbed it all in for 20 seconds? We might want to sing happy birthday two times over. Might be a bit easier. It'll be nice to practice our count into 20. I need to rinse it off, don't I? I need to get rid of the soap. So rinse your hands. We do that, rinse your hands. And what number of instructions is that going to be? One, two, three, four, five. The fifth instruction. Get my line ready. Rinse it off. Rinse it off. Now, again, some words are a little bit trickier to spell than others, but if you use all of those sounds that you already know, it's absolutely fine by just by doing that. Don't worry about doing the correct spelling because if you did spell it like this, rinse, r -i -n -s, rinse, fantastic, but it does have a little F at the end. So rinse it off, off, rinse it off. So I've turned the tap on. I have got my hands wet, I have got some soap, I have rubbed it in for 20 seconds, I have rubbed, uh, rinsed off the soap, and what's my final instruction? Final instruction. I need to dry my hands, don't I? So my instruction would be rinse it off and dry your hands. Dry your hands. Okay, so I know my next instruction. What number instruction is it going to be? Got my first instruction, my second, my third, my fourth, my fifth, and my number six, my sixth instruction, sixth instruction. My sixth instruction to dry your hands. Dry your hands. Okie dokie. So here are our instructions. Okay. So first instruction, turn on the tap. Second instruction, get hands wet. Third instruction, get some soap. Fourth instruction, rub it in for 20 seconds. Fifth instruction, rinse it off. Sixth in sixth instruction, dry your hands. Do you think if we gave those instructions to somebody, they would be able to follow them well? I think so. I think that would be really good. And like I say, you can make yours a lot better than mine. I would love some pictures. You can do it with pictures. Or if you did want to do a video and you can talk us through doing wash your, how to wash your hands, that's really brilliant as well. And maybe if you're talking us through it, you can tell us, oh, first I'm going to turn on the tap and then I'm going to get some soap. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do that. So that would be really brilliant. So your chance today, have a go at doing some instruction writing. And it would be really nice if you could have a little search around your house to see if you find any instructions anywhere. Like I said, we can find instructions or for things you might be building, instructions in a, um, in a game that you have, instructions in a cookbook, so have a look around and I really look forward to seeing what you come up with. And I wonder if you guys can think of anything else to add in there as well. So good luck, well done.